maybe I need to define what a webinar is. A webinar is like an online seminar where we can see each other. So you see the person that's actually speaking, and you can share the desktop so that if I want to take a look at your paintings, you know, I can turn over control to you, and whatever you see on your desktop, everybody else sees. Um, and then it dawned on me after that, and that was pretty exciting, it dawned on me afterwards that there was no reason that I couldn't take this to a broader audience, and that it could be anybody elsewhere in the world could participate. Welcome to Chicago Arts. This is Martin John, and in this episode we're talking with Paul Klein of Klein Artist Works, a course designed to help visual artists around the world find success within their careers. A, lo a lot of artists really don't look much beyond their next work of art or the body of art that they're making, they're working on. And I'm really interested in pow empowering artists and seeing them succeed however they define what success is. And to a large extent, that means looking at the bigger picture. And what, what a lot of artists in the class are getting excited about the potential that others share with them. You know, so that the idea is to really think big and to distinguish yourself from everybody else and to make work that's unique to you, that resonates. But beyond that, if you can look at the bigger picture and see all a whole array of possibilities. And the other thing that is so exciting to me is that all these groups establish their own synergy and their own relationships and their own support structure. I didn't anticipate that at all. We distinguish really clearly between vision, which I think are the non-negotiable issues that an artist has in their bag of meaning, and strategy, which is how you fulfill that vision. So, you know, Vision, a vision could be, I need to paint about the social condition. Um, strategy could be, how big do you make your paintings? How much do they sell for? What colors do you use? Do I put a frame on them or not? You know, a lot of the, the, the minutia. And then to extrapolate from that and use that, apply that strategy to looking at a larger picture. I'm concerned that art school teachers, by default, because they're teaching, teach others, teach students to be teachers. And that one, that if you want to be a successful artist, you're better off listening to successful artists, tell stories about their career, how they got there, what they did, and even what they did wrong. You know, and it's not like Michelangelo and da Vinci were, went to art school. You know, they were part of a guild or an apprentice program where they would work for an artist they respected and learn from that. I think that's a really, you know, I'm not, art school is great for teaching art and teaching one how to make art and giving one, I think it, whatever somebody does, they have to have enough perspective. I get annoyed with baseball players who don't know who Babe Ruth was or Lou Gehrig, you know, and I get annoyed, I, I'm frustrated by artists who can't, you know, who don't know something about maybe Arthur Dove or Elizabeth or Bob Rauschenberg, you know, and if somebody says your work looks like Rauschenberg and you go, who? You know, that's a faux pas. And I think, so I think art school is good for conveying that stuff and teaching you how to draw a line or make a face or whatever it is that, you know, resonates for you. But I'm not convinced that art schools are the place, I don't even think can be, um, for teaching somebody how to have a career. If an artist is making money, frequently they feel and often their, audience, their friends feel like they sold out. You know, and there, there's nothing wrong with making money in the art world. And there's nothing wrong with taking that money and doing something benevolent with it or putting it back into your career or buying yourself a piggy car, you know. It, it's, whatever it is, that's okay. You know, in the class, I want to see artists succeed, but I don't define what success is. You know, success is how each artist defines it for themselves. I mean, some of these people have had careers previously, and they, have, they don't need to make money, and they just want to get their art out there, and they want it to be seen, and they want people to like it. You know, some other people definitely want to make money, and some other people want to create prob trouble, you know, and go out there and be an instigator. Uh, that's okay, too. You know, success is different for, I mean, for most people, it has to do with money, but that's America. But it's not that way for everybody. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Be sure to catch our next episode and stay informed by subscribing to our channel. We'd like to hear what you think, so please take a moment and comment on our programming. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.